Hello and welcome back to Straight Talk. Back in late June, the House of Representatives passed two immigration bills that would penalize illegal immigrants who commit crimes and local jurisdictions that refuse to deport them. These two bills, Kate's Law and No Sanctuary for Criminals Act, can be seen as providing the safety we need for the public and add to President Trump's rhetoric of let's make America safe again. According to the Washington Post, Kate's Law, named after a 32-year-old woman shot and killed in 2015 by an illegal immigrant who had been deported five times, steps up prison sentences for criminals who re-enter the United States illegally after being convicted and deported. The No Sanctuary for Criminals Act prohibits cities from receiving federal grants if they give sanctuary to illegal immigrants that commit crimes. It also leaves them unprotected to liability lawsuits from the victims of those crimes committed. Since President Trump took office, at least 33 states have introduced immigration enforcement bills, and for good reason. When Attorney General Jeff Sessions delivered some remarks in Las Vegas to federal, state, and local law enforcement, he stated that, under President Trump's leadership, we are finally getting serious about securing our border. In fact, we are already seeing the positive results of this, with illegal border crossings falling to their lowest monthly figure in at least 17 years. That makes us all safer. But we must ask ourselves, does this truly make us safer? What about sanctuary cities themselves? Will they be defunded, or will policies just continue to change only the bare necessities in order to keep our country safe? The John Birch Society's President Emeritus, John McManus, said that, in effect, sanctuary cities constitute a thumbing of the nose at legitimate laws designed to thwart unlawful immigration. If the entire nation adopted sanctuary policy, there would soon be no nation because, as history has shown, a nation without control of its borders soon ceases to be independent. With these new immigration bills, we are indeed building a safer nation. However, wouldn't it be easier to just defund sanctuary cities altogether? After all, it seems arguments that favor sanctuary cities like to point to related policies such as nullification, which is the refusal of a city or state to obey a law they claim has no legal basis. According to McManus, Sanctuary cities, sometimes even counties, choose to ignore federal mandates while still accepting federal aid of various kinds. Nullifiers are willing to accept the consequence of losing federal aid because of their refusal to abide by a mandate they find onerous, even abusive of higher law. While small victories are cause for celebration, we need to keep in mind that the bigger battles tend to be pushed aside. We need to promote the rule of law by enforcing existing immigration laws and stop incentives that continue to lure illegal immigrants into sanctuary cities. The John Birch Society agenda states that we are witnessing our own government's policies promoting, organizing, and even financing various kinds of immigration. We must take a stand and continue to fight for our country's border security and national sovereignty. Join with us and become a member today at JBS.org. So until next time, take care and God bless.